Hey YouTube, hey guys, how's it going? Thomas here, and we are doing the Lazy Bastard Achievement here today on Factorio. I am so happy with this. So, <clears throat> in order to do Lazy Bastard Achievement, you have to do start off by collecting certain resources. And as far as raw materials goes, you need basically 100 plus iron plates, um, somewhere in the neighborhood of about 200. Uh, I think one guide says you only need like 104 iron. And then you need like at least, I would say, 100 copper plates. And one guide also looked at says you only need like 34. And I don't buy that. I say get more. More is better because once you do upgrade, you're going to have more and stuff than what you'll need. And on top of that, you know, you want about 30 or 40 coal, you know, maybe 100 coal or something, and then, you know, maybe 20 or 30 wood, okay? And what you're going to do is you will actually go ahead and you're going to build, and we're here in late game right now, as you guys can see. Uh, we got a rocket pad up and running. But what you're going to do is you're going to actually want to start off by building a bowler, steam engine, offshore lamp, a lab, electrical pole, and 10 science packs, and then you're going to research your automation. Now, we started this game way up here at the top in our starting area, and it was a lot of just back and forth from side to side, but you want to start with that simple setup, and once you get that, you'll have somewhere in the neighborhood of around 100 items crafted, and then you're going to need to build an assembly machine too, which is one of your blue assembly machines, and you're also going to have to later on create yourself an oil refinery, and um, you know, that'll put you at a total of 106. Now, you also want to do the little squiggly line next to your one, and you want to do permissions, and you'll come into your permission tab here, and you want to ultimately uncheck this one permission right here, which is basically craft. So this way you don't accidentally craft anything or anything of that nature. Um, so that's a very important thing. Now, since this is, um, you know, really we're going for, um, you know, the lazy bastard achievement here, um, you know, win the game by crafting no more than 111 items manually. Um, it's also not a bad time to go for some other achievements, such as win a game without building laser turrets, win a game without building any solar panels, win, um, you know, a game without using like lit, lit requester chest and things of that nature. So there's a few other achievements you guys can definitely go for while you're doing this if you hadn't already got them. So definitely keep that in mind. But what we started off with was we started over here building our miners on top of the coal. And ultimately we tore down our power and stuff eventually once we got our assembly machines started manufacturing and tried to get more assembly machines. We built this little bit more advanced power plant here and then I got my first uh, really actual decent uh, you know, factory area and stuff set up right here, which um, I spaced it just enough and pretty much everything I did in my factory was right here. So I had one, two, three assembly machines here with a blue one in the middle. And this machine allowed me to craft so much because you can come right in here and see if you see like uh, belts requires iron plates and gears, right? So I'm being supplied there. If I wanted, um, you know, for example, let's say I wanted inserters. Well, green chips, everything right there. I can make inserters. Uh, if I wanted long inserters, I could take the inserters there and I could just put some regular inserters into this chest. It would put it in here and produce long inserters. So these four assembly machines is really where I was able to pretty much produce everything that I needed for the most part. And I expanded down here with four more at a later time. And um, we came right here and I added this right here for belt production and stuff of that nature. So this is pretty much how everything got going off. And um, this, this starting area worked out really good. I tried to produce green chips over here. It didn't work really that great, but I did start producing stone furnaces and stuff, which ultimately will go to our map view here, which brought us down here to this mega, um, you know, basically smithing area. And I pretty much what I did was you lay everything out you, and you come down through here with all your furnaces and one big long line, stone furnaces, and you delete two, one, delete two, one, delete two, and that gives you this layout, and then you come through here and stuff like that. Now, this was after I got my medium power poles because this requires this design requires a medium power pole. But I come in here, each side of this gets its own dedicated belt line, and then the coal comes down the middle, and then I repeat the process down here. Now, you only do one section at a time on this design, as you can see here. And then when your belts get weak and they needs uh, needs more production, you'll just kind of add additional rows and stuff as needed. And um, ultimately, I needed all of the iron ore and stuff. Now, the big regret and mistake I made was my refinery. I put one refiner here because that's all we had the ability to do until we got down here to where we actually have what's known as Automation 3. Uh, remember, you guys, once you get Automation 3 unlocked, you can actually build additional refineries. And I didn't really plan ahead 
And this is really what cost me so much time is because I just didn't have enough plastic production. I'm still struggling with it right now. And we've been struggling with it for probably about in the last hour or so as I've been trying to get this game ready to go to space to actually complete the Lazy Bastard achievement. So it's actually been a painstaking. I actually added some refineries here on each side here. This actually, for some reason, that one's not even operating. I don't even know why that's like that. That should be functioning. So, but yeah, we'll re-add that there. But, you know, the fact is this here was kind of a mistake because I just put this assembly machine down right here and ran straight down through here and then just kind of tied stuff into it in this little confined space that I already had here and it started running my belts and everything like that now my belt line initially came straight from here off of this right here and came straight across and since I've gotten into late game I've started just kind of dropping random crap like uh, rocket fuel and stuff in my base just anywhere I can kind of get squeeze stuff in here and that's kind of why my base is just kind of chaotic right now it was nice and clean good looking base but now it's just kind of gotten more chaos but we got our steel production here we got some plastic up here we got our blue chips i did do a dedicated belt production line here so we got all these green chips they come into the uh this line right here which is also a, a red chip production that comes off here so we got two green chips we got red chips blue chips and then the battery share of the blue chip belt line works its way down here with some of this research and all that kind of stuff and as you guys can see we got our rocket up and running oh my god we're ready to get off of this rock but let's continue our base tour here and we'll come back here and start that in just a minute. But um, we'll actually stand right by here and uh, go for our lazy bastard achievement in just a moment. But this is what the base looks like. And I also ended up coming up here and building a power plant. Now this is one of the things, after this power plant was kind of up and running, I expanded, built this nice mega plant. And as you guys can see here, just looking at it, uh, I've never really gotten any higher than 25%. So I could have probably only just built the bottom half of this. I didn't really need this whole huge, huge power plant like I built. Um, my copper worked out great. Um, you know, my iron's been doing good. Everything's been feeding nice. Um, I did get some basic oil refining here, brought my pipes down originally, but trying to get more rocket fuel, I ended up coming over here and building this really crazy design, which was just throw a bunch of pumps in, drop some refineries, and add this here, and then run rocket fuel, and then run this really long freaking belt all the way around my base and back up, so I could actually try to get rocket fuel, and as you guys can see, the yeah, I got a lot of rocket fuel. It's still, <laughs> it's still coming. <laughs> so we did do that, but... Um, the original design was once this up here was going, I kind of come off to the side somewhere and built my research, which I started my research here and ultimately put my research plants here and everything. And uh, that worked out great. Then I expanded down with my blue research, started building kind of downwards and then over. And this all just kind of came in here. And then I had this over here. And then this was just an open area. And I put my refinery here, which was a mistake. Um, that was a mistake, not building enough for my refinery. And stuff because I just didn't have enough um, space and stuff like that really to really grow it and build a good quality refinery. I would have probably, um, honestly, I don't really know where I would have built it because the way this, uh, you know, my iron and my copper wasn't in an ideal location because you can see I map, literally ran a line of it all the way down over and over here and then fit it all back this way. So it was um, kind of disorganized and I got lubes and stuff running down my main line here and stuff. So some things in this factory did not turn out the way I really was hoping they would. But for the most part, everything here turned out really great. Um, you know, and I, I love this factory design here. I love how I do these here, um, my, my stone furnaces and stuff. This is my style. This is my personal design, and um, I do this all the time. I don't know why more people don't lay their uh, belts out like this. I've looked at and stuff at some of the blueprints online, and I've never seen, I don't see anybody lay out any, you know, stone furnaces or anything like this. It's really a beautiful design because everything's on its own dedicated belt, so it just makes it balanced. And uh, in the very middle here, about 10 belts back, you always want to put a splitter so it shifts what's on this belt onto the top line and balances it. This one here, you don't really need it, but everything ultimately balances in this um, master splitter here. And it all, both sides of this here actually tie together here. Um, this is probably a better view right here, as you can see, it can ties together right there and stuff. But this is the way I like to build my uh, furnaces and all that stuff. And you just build one row, you know, one side, you know, one section at a time. There's four sections to each one. Um, you do the same with your iron and as you can see I still have two sections here I didn't build because I just didn't need them so you just build it build as you need unless you're uh, using construction robots and stuff like that but for the most part this game turned out really good um, the, the tips I'll have you guys as far as lazy bastard goes is the start of the game is the most time consuming you're gonna spend probably one to two hours just trying to get past that 
tipping point to get the resources and all that. So expect one or up to one to two hours just to get started. But once you get rolling and you get your automation and everything like that. But uh, another really great tip um, also is keep supplies in your inventory like you normally would. Like uh, if you need something, you know, keep an assembly machine on hand. So I can just come over here, drop it in an assembly machine. As long as it's in power, if I need an inserter, I can just take stuff that's in my inventory and drop it in and it will just craft inserters right there. So just carry your assembly machines with you, delete them once you get your material. And uh, that's really how you do this whole lazy bastard achievement. Once you figure it out that you drop an assembly machine, then build what you're going to do. That's how you do the lazy bastard achievement. And once you know that, this is so easy because you, you just run up and down your main bus line right here, your main belts, steal whatever you need off of it, throw an assembly machine down, produce it, and uh, you, you're pretty much good to go. But the next best thing to also keep in mind is this design right here. I love this here. So you got one copper, um, you know, one you know iron plate here, one copper, but you have one, two, three, four, four assembly machines in a, in a pattern like this. Uh, where three of them are attached to your uh, basically iron plates. One is attached to copper and it feeds it over here. And uh, you can also take one right here and tie it into this main machine as well. But if you do this right here, you're not going to have no problems whatsoever. And if you wanted to actually make the improve in this design a bit, just add steel plates into this main one right here. And, uh, you know, doing this right here, you can pretty much craft the majority of anything that you need using about four or five assembly machines. Uh, four assembly machines work great. And I use this pretty much up until about mid game until I really started mass producing and everything. I would just run up. I would just set these machines. I, I, did, I built two of these. I got one right here. As you can see, one, two, three, four right there. I got four right there and I got four here and I would just produce like regular, uh, you know, inserters here and then I would come up and put them in this machine and have red inserters and stuff being produced or I would have assembly machines being made or whatever. So I was just using rotating between four different machines and that's just uh, a really, you know, good ideal, you know, especially in early game, just build four assembly machines with copper on one side and an iron plate on the other and it works, it works wonders. It works really great and that, that'll that really get you guys going. But anyways, guys, um, hopefully this video uh, helped you out hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this little series that i did put together here on youtube on my channel um also be sure to go to my main channel if you this if you're catching into the last video or something you can look at the playlist and see like how we got started and all that kind of stuff and watch the videos i pretty much cut off uh this base build once we got past the uh, first refinery because there wasn't really a need to watch me build this entire base now as far as tech researches go check my techs out here um, i also wanted to point this out here this is something i'm happy with i did not use Use any flight whatsoever so this whole base was built without construction robots and logistic robots just so you guys know this is all the research I used right here and uh, this is actually version 1.6 um, is the actual game version for this lazy bastard achievement so without with that being said here's my base one last look just look around it actually turned out really nice I'm very happy with how this looks um, I love my setup all this stuff looks great. Um, definitely could have done some things differently, but uh, you know, for going for a lazy bastard achievement like this, um, honestly, I don't really care about how nice my base looked. The goal was to get through it, but keep in mind about this, guys. If you think you're going to kind of come through here, rush through a game, and get the lazy bastard achievement, uh, you're mistaking. Just keep in mind that you are going to be doing a full game, doing all your regular builds and everything. So just just keep that in mind. So. I would have actually made this a much better map and stuff if I was going to do that because I would have enjo actually enjoyed continuing this game after I completed the Lazy Bastard achievement. So, But this map, I don't really like this map, but it was good for what I was wanting to do. So uh, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let's go ahead and earn our Lazy Bastard achievement. Put the rocket in there and let's launch this bastard. Is it going to go? Here we go. Off the space we go. Let's get our lazy bastard achievement. <laughs> oh man, I'm looking forward to getting this. So. And off she goes. <laughs> lazy bastard, win a game by crafting no more than 111 items manually. That's nice. That's that's really great. I, I love that. I love that. And um, as you guys can see, this took 16 hours. Um, I was at pretty much my rocket silo and stuff like that because I did have just the one oil refinery. As I told you guys, I didn't plan plan for building 10 oil refineries just because the achievement only allows for you to have, build one 
oil refinery, keep in mind that one oil refinery is going to only last you up to the point where you'll have automation three, where you can actually then make multiple oil refineries. So lay your oil refineries out like you normally would build about, plan for about maybe 10 oil refineries. And, um, you know, that, that's what I would do. I would definitely plan for, say, 10 oil refineries because if you do any less than that, um, you're going to have problems in late game, which is what happened to me here. Um, this was should this game should have been done within 12 hours. Um, ultimately, I ended up sitting here, let the game run for almost four hours just to get this rocket produced, to get this rocket to build because I just don't have the plastic. I don't have the red chips, and it all goes back to my plastic and my petroleum production. Um, it just, just bad planning and not thinking ahead. Um, you just kind of killed me. But don't make the same mistakes I did going for lazy bastards. And um, if you don't make those mistakes, you guys should be able to win this within you know 12 hours. I would do it in you know 12 hours or less. I mean, it's easily doable, very doable. Um, it's actually a relatively easy achievement. It's just getting through that starter period of one to two hours and just remember do your uh, permissions and disable like uncheck the crafting that way you don't accidentally click it or anything like that. Anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my channel and peace out YouTube.